Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. It's an awesome collection. I enjoyed it very, very much. Uh, we're going to check out all the games, uh, some gameplay, and share my thoughts and why you should buy this game because it's awesome. This is a great collection. 10 out of 10. Let's check it out. All right, let's get into the game and what you get in this collection. It's an awesome collection. You should definitely buy it if you're a fan of these games. So you get all these games. You have offline play, online play, museum, some extra stuff. We'll get into that in a while. We we'll go offline play. So X-Men Children of Adam, kind of where it all started. So big sprites. It's a little bit slower gameplay, but still an awesome game. Marvel superheroes. You have the Infinity Gems. Uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Marvel, Marvel superhero vs. Street Fighter. Marvel vs. Capcom. And the most competitive game, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Tons of heroes to choose from. Uh, they threw in the Punisher. It's a, like a final fight beat em up. You can be the Punisher or Nick Fury. Um, pretty fun game though. It's done very well. So let's check out Children of the Atom first. So most people have been playing online since it came out and uh, streamed it a little bit. And people always kind of comment on these splash screens of this, uh, this arcade machine. And you walk by in the arcade, this awesome splash screen would come up of these X-Men, uh, the villains, and go into the gameplay and cut right back to these cool um, like art style. So this is a great, great starting point for the series. To me, it's the hardest of the collection to play. Um, this is a little more slower. It's just a different gameplay, so you have to get used to it. Plus, you go from like uh, MVC two to this. Still a fun game to play. Yeah. You have this cool cast of characters: Classic X Men, Storm, Cyclops, Wolverine, Psylocke, Colossus, Iceman, and some very cool bad guys: Omega Red, the Sentinel, Silver. Silver Samurai and a uh, Spiral. So, I always like Spiral. So that is that one. Gameplay's very good. Go into Marvel Super Heroes. This was one of my favorites during like the PlayStation era. Even though I guess the PS1 era version, people say it's a little glitchy. It is kind of so slow down and stuff like that. Getting these awesome cutscenes, get you in the mood to play the game. Very, very quick. I guess he kind of knew the uh, the whole cutscene thing <laughs> prior to the 2000s. Got the Infinity Gauntlet. You can get the gems. Cool cast of characters as well. So you have now you have Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America, Spider Man. The bad guy side you have Magneto, Juggernaut, Blackheart, Shuma Gorath. And on this you can unlock um, Doctor Doom and I uh, forget uh, and Thanos. A very fun game, big sprites, awesome, awesome looking game. Next one for Street Fighter. So, so crossover. Oh, we gotta see the beginning. Hold on. Gotta see the intro. I won't say it's the best part, but it's an awesome part. So you see Ryu there. I think it's cool cutscenes again. These big bold letters. Super. Combine your powers. You can tag in. This is awesome with the team ups. So these were awesome when they came out, and these maintain being awesome to this day. Cool cast of characters: Magneto, Juggernaut, Dawson, and Bison. Although I'm not a fan of like this series on Bison. I think he's underpowered. Uh, Ken Ryu, Rogue, Cammy, Charlie. Akuma's up here. So it's a time limit, so you gotta pick quickly. <laughs> awesome game. And we have superheroes for Street Fighter. True believers. I, I love these intros. It really gets you it gets you in the mood to like play this game. Like I'm gonna play this fighting game. It's gonna be awesome, and it was. Apocalypse, That's Cyber Akuma back there it's, can be a pain. Choose your alter ego, Akuma, and Geef. Uh, make a red back here. You have Dan in here, so. 
cool stuff. This game was very cool, very fun to play. Go on to the next one. Kind of like ramped up right here, in my opinion. Marvelous Capcom. I think kind of started to set the bar for what was going to be Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Crossover returns. Also, kind of added some like broken hidden characters. Like Mega Man. He's just annoying, he's not broken, but. There's like Gold War Machine in here and like the, the Red Venom. Because that cool effect. Maybe, might be a little over the top of the asteroids, but still fun. Ultimate action, right? Clash of the Heroes. See up here you have Red Venom, uh, War Machine, Red Hawk, um, Morgan. Shadow Lady should be in here somewhere. So again, another cool cast of characters. And then to the star of the show, this is why people bought this game. I think overall, probably 80% of people who are interested bought it because of this game right here. Over the top combo, so many characters to choose from. That's beginner friendly to an extent, and then it's totally not beginner friendly <laughs> at all. Um, I say that because there's like some one button cool things that you can do, like if you don't know anything about fighting games. You can like play cable or you can play the signal, hit a button, it's gonna shoot a laser. You're gonna have a little bit of fun until you play someone who's played the game way too, way too much. And you're like, maybe not so much fun. But anyway, it's still worth playing. If you're a fan, if you just wanna play casual or the arcade, it's still worth it. Huge roster, two Wolverines for a very lame reason. Um, you have Felicia, you have Thanos in here. Um, he added some characters like Roll, uh, the Servbot, so some, some kind of joke characters that people still use. Uh, you have BB Hood in here now, uh, Doctor Doom off the bat. So a lot of a lot of choices to make, a lot of combinations you can do. Um, we've all seen those videos, but for people new, it's still worth playing. It's still worth playing the arcade, play through the story mode. There is technically a story with Abyss. And um, this new character here, Ruby Hart, is the star of the show, really, supposedly. Um, a lot of fun. This game is tons of fun. I've been enjoying it since this collection dropped. So I have about 10 hours on it already. But I have hundreds of hours on this game overall. I'm not a like a competitive top tier player. I'm okay though, decent. So that is the games in the collection. So I've liked every single one I've played. Um, <laughs> most frustration was with Children of the Atom. Getting to Magneto and doing that fight, I still haven't got through. Uh, everything else, gone through, except for the Punisher. Um, that'll be eventual when I'm kind of bored, I think. But it's still cool, it's there. I'll check it out. There's Nick Fury, there's Punisher. Back to the war. Window crash. Got some money. Jump, you have jump, punch, and a uh, special button? Yeah, grab some pizza. It's a very final fight, but that's not why we're here. That's just like a nice bonus game, a very good bonus game to give you for this awesome fighting collection. Um, some people things I've heard complaints are like in part two, the fix the juggernaut glitch where you can power up, tag out, tag back in, and be powered up for the rest of the game. I don't care that they fix things in the game. I'm not complaining that they've actually fixed things. Uh, the complaint is they fix one thing, then fix another. Like in a car, it uh, doesn't have a super or is an infinite, but I think that's only in practice mode. I'm not sure. Don't play in a car anyway. But anyway, no complaints from me. I love everything about this collection. It's awesome. All the heroes, all the people you can play, all the combinations you can do, and all the choices you have. The great art style, the great music. Everything is great about this game. This is a 10 out of 10 collection. I haven't been this happy with a day one purchase, maybe in forever. <laughs> so saying that, let's check out some of the gameplay. 
Um, while I'm talking here, it'll be on the screen here so you can check out how it works. Just some random gameplay I threw together. But if you're interested in this game, or 1% or any of these games, you should, you should definitely buy it. You're not going to be upset. Uh, like I said, I have the PC version on Steam, so if you don't want to play me, I will be on the PC side of the house. There is no crossplay. That is a valid complaint. No crossplay kind of hurts things a little bit overall for the fighting community, but nobody wants to play on PS4 anyway. And for Xbox to get it so late down the road. So some ba some missteps were made. So there were, I guess, some tiny valid complaints. I'm not gonna complain about them fixing things and maybe not fixing thing other things. We don't know why they will come out later, but the fact is this should be the definitive game for like competitive play. Be like, okay, this game is out now. It works. It's also um, different setups you can do. For new players, there's one button supers. You can change all that. So you control settings. So I customize mine, but like, so you have a one button special move here, a one button hyper combo. And during like online games, you can, you can filter that. Like for ranked games, you can't do the one button combos or one button supers. And that's smart. It's very smart to put it in that way. So we'll go back out here. So if you go to online play, uh, you have casual, ranked, custom match, your leaderboard, your high score challenge. Um, so if you go into ranked, go here. See down here, one button special moves, none. I cannot change that. You can change the region on or off and you can change Japanese or English version. That, that does mess me up a little bit. Uh, so I played um, the Japanese version and I couldn't read the assists. You would think by now I would know what's what, but I picked the wrong assist a few times, cost me a couple matches. So just remember where your assist is uh, on the Japanese version and you'll be fine. I played, played great though. Um, the online match went super well. I've only played uh, MVC2 online, uh, casual and ranked, and they both were pretty much flawless. Uh, some people complain that you can't quick rematch. I don't care about that. I'm glad you go back to lobby and change your characters because I hate getting stuck with the same team like on like a fight cade or something like that. So, as far as I can tell, this works great. The online play works great. Uh, we'll back out of here. So you have the museum, so some gallery and music. Uh, so they like different pictures. So main art, I guess I haven't done anything besides that main art one. Uh, I might have something for, I play this one the most, right? So let's see. Yeah, got some art for this. It's just a character art. It's a nice extra. I enjoy the art, the extra art. I look at them every now and again. So I think it's better to have it than not have it. Oops, gallery again. Music, <clears throat> you really only care about one song. So the whole collection, which is this song here. I think it should be this one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's all you need. So that is... Oops. The Mar... Yeah. I like everything about this collection. Very satisfied. It's a 10 out of 10. It should be the definitive um, competitive version people play. And that way there's no problem. Just, you know, get rid of the old ones. This is out now. This is what we have. Everyone can buy this. You don't have to go searching for a Dreamcast copy or uh, old Xbox OG copy and, you know, mess around with doing all that. So this should be the definitive version. Everyone plays and the competitive version in my opinion so again 10 out of 10 buy it play it let me know what you think in the comments and as always thanks for watching triple r have a good day or night wherever you are smash that like button hit subscribe thanks